hi hey guys uh, on today's video we're gonna be talking about market structure supply and demand and imbalances so make sure that you watch up until the end so that you can understand each and everything that i'm about to talk about and then click the like button and subscribe let's get into today's video so on the first diagram we have an uptrend around this point and then as you can see you can just see it by seeing those higher highs higher lows and higher high then simply expect a higher low for you to get like a new higher high at the top of the structure so that is how you see like an uptrend that is how you can identify an uptrend and then on this diagram here we have a correction whereby the market is moving in this type of fashion some type of a support and resistant area just like this one and then you don't do anything on this type of price action we're looking for only trending structures so on the downtrend part as you can see we have a higher low and a lower low around this point so initially what you expect is for a break of structure just like this around this point here and then this break of structure will confirm this lower low around this point and then after confirming this lower low let me just remove this areas after confirming this lower low from this point, then you know that you expect. Sorry about that. Then you expect. After confirming this lower low here, then you know that you expect a higher low at the top of the structure or any uh, valuable area or POI for you to look for those selling opportunities to push to the downside. And then another scenario that we are going to talk about is major structures and substructures. So talking about the substructure, the substructure is initially this one around this area here. That is where you'll get like a smaller downtrend on the lower time frame, whereby you know that the larger trend or the overall trend is to the upside. This is the larger trend around this area. That is where we're going to follow like the overall trades that we are going to take. But you can treat like the substructure. Let me just draw it out. And then I'll show you like on the live chats how they look. So this is the substructure. And then substructure will reach this area here or POI area or a higher low. Then you look for those buying opportunities with the major structure. And then this is the major structure, just like this. Major structure. So we have the substructure and then we have the major structure so initially what you're going to do is that you're going to look for uh, short-term sales if you are into like day trading then you can take like your short-term sales and then when we get to the higher low then that is when you can look for those long-term uh, buys with the overall trend on the higher time frames so let me show you on the live chats so that you can see like each and everything in play for our substructure and market structure, overall market structure examples, we are using AUDGPY on the four hour time frame. So make sure that you are checking like your imbalances and how the market reacts to your supply and demand. So looking at this area here, you can see that we had like an imbalanced price action around this point and just use like an IMB just like this. And then looking at the current market structure around this area, that is where we reacted. As you can see, we have been creating lower lows and lower highs. As you can see from this point, we have this area here. We had this lower high, lower low, 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 lower high, lower low. And then we had the first higher high of which is this one on the higher time frame of which is a clear higher high that we can use and then that initially means that we have a break of structure around this point and then after having the break of structure we have that supply area around here the demand area sorry about that that is where we look for those buying opportunities so for this example we are looking for those substructure movements on the lower time frame so let's switch to the hour chart and just look at how the substructure will react that's where we look for that reverse out to initially hit that demand area to push to the upside and then the target can be just this supply area here of which it's also imbalanced as you can see here there is no retest you just use this 
and say an IMB at the bottom. Okay, so looking at the hour time frame, as you can see from this area here, we had a reaction from this supply area. And then looking at the 30 minute time frame, as you can see, this is the substructure that I was talking about. Then you can trade the substructure up until you reach to the upside. As you can see from this point, we had that lower low, lower high, lower low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, and so on. And then reaching the top of the structure, we created a higher high. Instead of creating a higher low, we created a lower low of which we broke structure. And then the last candle that broke structure of which it's at the top of the structure around this point here. And then you can just further refine it on the lower time frames. So as you can see, we created that lower low and then we created a lower high. That is where you look for those selling opportunities. Your stop loss can be just above the target this point, just because that's the point that broke structure. And then it's also imbalanced if you refine it to this one around this point here around this point let me just check just because this one is a push up a correction and then a push up and then we had like a retest around this point and then the only imbalance the only imbalance price action would be around this point here if you try and do this so this is the area that we can use and then as you can see we retested that area and then initially followed the overall trend to the upside as you can see back to the daily time back to the four hour time frame that is the overall market structure that we are working with and then we are initially waiting for a break of structure around this point here around this point here we initially look for more buying opportunities up until we fill this imbalanced price action here so the movement that i'll be looking for so far let me just do this Make sure that we have the overall trend intact. And then the candle that I'll be looking for is this one here. We have imbalance around this point. And we also have another imbalance price action around this point here. Just like this. So I'll be looking for confirmation entries of which you look for that lower low higher high and then we get like this type of movement and then we look for those buys wait for a break of structure come back to retest the same area that broke structure or an imbalanced a demand zone then you look for those buying opportunities and then around this point here that is where you look for risk entries and then if a risk entry does not work out then it means there is some type of inefficient price action like for example we have inefficient price action around this point doesn't mean there's no retest as you can see we had a push up a retest a push to the upside retest a push to the upside there's no retest around this point so that is how we can formulate like trades using smc or market structure and then i'll be making more videos about smc and then uh, uh, the second video will be about uh, supply and demand. And then the third one will be about imbalanced price actions. So yeah, I'll see you on another video.